Yeah, you're. It's even like I said, uh, I go all the way. Right, get the idea. Totally different. Right, yeah. right. And the, your neck, your neck should. <laughs> it should. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want you. I don't want you to force it. It's okay. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Look at all this stuff over here. Oh my. Who put this here? This is one of those like from was it uh, the Patriot? Lord, make me fast and accurate. Yeah. <laughs> this is a. An eighteen-year-old. I just adjust them. Easy, easy. To get off, those hurt. Okay, to get off, you just roll your side. <laughs> so I was trying to breathe it out, to stretch through it. <laughs> <laughs> I he was gonna... That's what I didn't want. I'm like, I told her, I'm like, I don't want to throw up. If it hurts too bad. <laughs> oh, I've been doing. I've been in food now for probably like 15 years, 14 years now. So it's been great. The posture forward. Hunched over all day long. Right. Yeah. Tell me what's going on. Have you had some chiropractic care or some good, yeah. some not so bad? Not so good. Yeah, I've had the cheap guys, you know, they, they just kind of one-stop pop kind of place and, right. and that kind of led me down a dark road. But then um, I've been able to get it to this good wellness place that, yeah, it's got some good stuff, but you, um, maybe not the best things for me. And, um, you know, that's why I'm kind of reaching out a little bit. So you have, you've been dealing with mainly lower back, but tell me what's, what's your main thing going on today? I mean, lower back is where everything kind of started. And then you know, after I've been through a few car accidents, probably like six of them total, I mean, three of them probably head on and maybe three rear-ended. The last rear-ended one, I really felt like I understood what whiplash really was. When like Jeez. my neck went back and like, it couldn't like really move it forward. Yes. So um, it was pretty locked up. And I used to be pretty flexible in my neck, but it, I've just stopped doing self adjustments and I feel like everything's super tight. So I feel like that's had an impact on, on my upper back and neck too, so. So mainly lower back pain, and you said previously it had gone down the leg and you had it? I've had sciatica, I've had those issues, mm -hmm. and I just, again, anytime I feel any kind of pain or any kind of uncomfort, I just throw ice on it mm -hmm. and just try to cool down and, you know, not feeling, you know, I'll, I'll do that for as long as I need to. Get how, really. how about the neck? How, how's the neck doing? The neck's doing? been really stiff. I mean, I've had moments in the past year where, uh, you know, I had a visit, I was getting some work done, and my neck was stiff for probably like a week and a half. Like, it was just really hard to move, and it's just been pretty locked up lately. So, um, yeah, it's been tough. Right foot arch, tell me about that. Ankle? Um, I thought I had, I thought I had um, plantar fascia, and I just went to the doctor, and he touched it back here, and I was like, that doesn't hurt, and but I'm more like here, mm -hmm. and I, and that's... I had an old ankle injury that I, I feel like is swollen every single day, plus probably accumulation of just everything has started just to impact that specific spot. Go ahead, cross again. So when you, when you say... You know. Not so much there. More like, yeah, like right there. Okay. And then it doesn't hurt here on the bottom here? No. Okay. I mean, there are a lot of attachments in here, right? right. So there's the fascia kind of attaches on the on that rim here. Right. But um, you want to, if it is yeah. that, you would kind of press it back down. The difficulty is a lot of the stress on this area happens because the arch drops. Because yeah. Adam, a chef, and I bend forward, all, <laughs> so the weight's more here. Yeah, that 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 part I've been trying to stress that out every day too, because I've been super locked up and sore too. When you have too much weight on the toes, that drops the arch and then it pulls on that. Mm -hmm. Potentially, I mean, we'll check out. We went over a little bit briefly about how there are 24 vertebrae. I'm just going to give you a yeah. little, again, sort of repeat myself a little bit. 24 vertebrae, five have a predominant amount of surgery. And they're having all the surgery because they're the main vertebrae that are doing most of the motion. And like I was mentioning earlier, you don't get to choose where your back bends. It bends where it's the loosest. And the chiropractic care and even self-adjusting that you've been through you're mainly continuing to bend where you're already bending. And that's where I caution people when you're, you know, self-adjusting, it's most likely to crack, does that make sense, in the loosest areas, thereby creating a positive feedback loop where it gets more inflamed, you feel the urge to crack it again, you crack it, it's getting looser and more inflamed, and then you keep cracking it. The, you said you've been through some traction, that's been helping? I mean, I feel like it's been helping, but it's never more than... Doesn't last too long. Doesn't last too long. So we want to work on, I was mentioning, there's a thing called a roll. we'll do this at the end of the visit. There's a thing called a roll that allows your spine, or stretches your spine back into that lumbar curve, or lord, what we call the lordosis. The x-rays that you've had, mainly I would look at them and look at how much curve is in that lower back. And if we find that arch is straighter than it's supposed to be, like a lateral, the weight ends up going right to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And so if you just straight traction all the time, 
two things happen. We continue to loosen what's already loose, because when you traction or invert, or even if you're laying down we traction, the loosest parts are tractioning the most. The, the parts that are stiff aren't tractioning because they're all stiff. Mm -hmm. So I, I caution because I worry that we might be loosening more of what's already loose and we can further increase the disparity between the tight areas and the loose areas. So we want to work on, I, I actually kind of want to leave the area that's loose alone, the lower back being the yeah. cause of your leg pain and sciatica, and do loosen up the middle back and then bring you back to that curved position. What the curve does is a couple things. One, it allows the weight to be evenly distributed over all the segments so that not any one area is under too much stress. And there's actually another part that's not talked about too much, which is that these nerve roots are held tight when there's no curve in your spine. So we call it nerve root tethering. And I think of it like there's a hole <laughs> with a cable going through it. And if that hole moves around and the cable's held tight, it hits the nerve. Right. But if you can move the hole and the nerve is like a cooked spaghetti noodle, it can move with the motion of your body. When you lose the curve, that nerve is held like a tight rope, and then that ring moves and it just whacks the nerve. And that's all despite how healthy the discs are. People get confused. Well, my discs look good. Yeah, but there's no curve in your back, and so the nerve roots are held, they're tethered, and their ability to kind of roll with the punches is, is decreased. So we want to, having that arch, like I said, takes the weight off the disc also, so the more arch that's in the spine, does that make sense? The, the discs are depressurized. Right? When you're bending forward, it compresses the disc, right. but it also opens up the hole when you bend forward. So that's what gives people relief. That's why you see elderly people hunch forward. It's a compensatory avoidance position to hunch forward, mm -hmm. to, and then it, it opens up those frame in a little bit. Yeah, there's, there's not as much sway down here that we should have. It's a little more straight down the lower back. We're dealing with about maybe an inch forward head posture. Okay. Try to roll back. You're fine. Mm -hmm. You're fine. You're fine. I mean, even just the way I, I, I moved your shirt a little bit, but you know, your right shoulder is a little bit high, and then even the way your shirt wants to sit on you. Do you understand? Like, that's not a coincidence that your shirt. It's because it's like going down the slope. Right. It, yeah. It's not my shirt always lasts. It's because my heavy bicep. Anyway, so uh, you know, but yeah, you're definitely kind of over avoiding that right lower. Turn your left, and then turn your right. A lot farther to the right than you can to the left, right? Yeah, turn to the left. Left. left gets a pinch, like. Uh huh. You turn your left again? Yeah. Wow. You're, I mean, it's, yeah. you're about 50, 60 percent what you should have there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next you know what I noticed? I noticed like in pictures, I was always like looking to the side. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like to. You don't like to go left. When you tilt, when you tilt your head left or rotate your head left, the holes that the nerves go through on the, that side get smaller. That's what's pinching. That's why you feel it. I don't know why <laughs> you're trying to do all your range of motion with your lower neck. That's why it's pinching in the lower neck. While the normal range of motion of your spine should happen from your atlas, these top two bones up here should do about 60% of the range of motion. And so if this bone up here is stuck, you're going to overstress your lower neck and even your total head. I can't even turn my head all the way. And that's why you feel stiff. Mm -hmm. We have to restore the function of your upper neck, and it's the same kind of principle as the lower back. You have to have a curve in your neck also that your job simply doesn't allow for. Right. And so we have to learn at the end of our day to counter stretch. Go ahead and just look straight up again. Try, try, try to look straight up. Look up. Yeah, you're, it's even, like I said, the, I go all the way. Yeah, right, get the idea? Totally different. Right, yeah. right. I mean, your, neck, your neck should, <laughs> it should, it's okay, it's okay. I don't want you to enforce it, it's okay. But what that is is that not, the, the joints all supply a certain percentage, right? Every yeah. vertebrae has to give its full range of motion. So that joint's not fully sliding together. And so that's all I got, Ed. And then you try to use your upper back to help out. You know, we need to restore the functionality of your neck. All right, take one deep breath in for me. We'll sit up. And then head back for me. Let it all out. Deep breath in for me. Exhale. Deep breath for me. Exhale. Well, nothing. Okay. <laughs> we got work to do. We got some mobility from here, but then from about middle back to the upper back, pretty much solid granite in there. Mm -hmm. And we have to have all the members of your team working. That the reason why your lower back is in distress is that area not being working. That, that area being tight is your cause. And I'm sorry if nobody else 
showed you that. I used the weight of your chest and my weight. I would, my legs, I, mean, I put 200, 300 pounds of force into your chest, nothing moved. First of all, it shouldn't require that much force in the first place. It should be moving easily. Well, aren't you happy had it moved? Yeah, no, but I had to like body slam you. Mm -hmm. If it takes that much force to get the joint to move, it's not very helpful for you out there in life. Because it's not, it's the last guy to arrive. He's, he's arriving at 5 p.m. and leaving at 6. He's not move, working much. All right, we'll get him. Bottom leg straight. I'm just always appalled sometimes that, I, does anybody else care that that didn't move? <laughs> there was no functionality. I asked you to bend your finger and you went like this. That's pretty, that's pretty good, look. It works fine. See, I don't need to bend my fingers. Like, no, you need to have bendable fingers. Anyway, deep breath in. Exhale. Let's have me. Real tight. My, my worry with this adjustment, just for your long-term health, your lower back is loose relative to your SI joint. We're trying to adjust this joint in your glute. The movement of this joint will take stress off the discs in your lower back. It, it needs to work. You need to have a functional SI joint. The difficulty is this joint is so stiff right now that there's a high likelihood that this guy's going to move too much. So that's danger. It's like gotta be, so we got to be, Ed, I think if you body slam me harder, it might be able to move. <laughs> I might hurt this guy. Do you understand? So it's not worth it. Just to think about that. Right. Deep breath in. Exhale. See? You see that, that joint's moving. Yeah. Face up. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we're starting this guy. I got you. Really easy. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Cool. Round one here. Here we go. Uh huh. Got your head right. Got your butt there. You know, from the range of motion, we obviously know that he doesn't have his whole spine working as a team. You know, we have normal range of motion values: 80 degrees left, 80 degrees right. So 160 total cervical rotation. You showed me about 50 one side, maybe 60 the other side. So 110. So you've lost about 50, <laughs> 50 degrees of range of motion here. You're at two thirds, maybe, let's say, capacity. And the main effect that that creates is that the ones that are working are going to wear out faster. And no one cares until the discs are injured, and then time for a rock, you know, and then never yeah. time for a shot or time. It's like, well, hold Trying on. To avoid all that. Well, right. But our world doesn't guide us. There's no guidance. What am I supposed to do? Uh, you know, self adjusting. While it feels good, there's an endorphins that are, endor uh, you know, endorphins that are released when you adjust the joint, you know, so it kind of feels good. That's why you, when you whacked your elbow as a kid, you rubbed it, <laughs> it kind of felt better. When you mechanically stimulate the nerves, it inhibits pain nerves. And so that, is that all chiropractic's about, is just stimulating the mechanical nerves to cover up pain? Is that mm. what this is all about? No. <laughs> We're trying to balance your spine. But that's what a lot of fast food chiropractors are tapping into. You can just stimulate the mechanical nerves and it inhibits pain nerves, but you're not stopping the reason why there's inflammation in the first place. You're not fixing the posture. Yeah. You're not resolving the injuries. You're just putting a Band-Aid over a problem. Right. And um, the problem is you have no curve in your neck or very little curve in your neck. And the upper neck, the atlas up here, is very tight. And we'll get it moving. It's okay. When people say knots, like what is that really? So the, the head is forward. So of course there's going to be knots, right? You're, you're, if I hold a bowling ball with my arms outstretched, my muscles are going to be tight, or more tight than they would be if it was close to me, right? So the tension's coming from the posture. The knot can be one of two things. One that you said earlier, I've had six car accidents. Okay, so you have a significant amount of guarding that's going to happen because your body's expecting another one to happen. Mm. And so it puts up walls and, you understand, fortifications in anticipation of, for, of another subsequent injury, right? So that's part of what this is. You know, what's the classic thing people do when they get scared, right? You, yeah. <gasps> you yeah. lift your shoulders up, right? So your shoulders didn't go back down. <laughs> Could they, they just stayed in the guarded state. This is a guarded position. The knots are areas of muscle contraction, either from guarding or posture, right? So yeah. you have, uh, when a muscle gets contracted, it cuts off its own circulation. So the knot is a positive feedback loop. It won't undo itself without blood being pushed into it. Yeah. <clears throat> bringing oxygen to bind to the lactic acid to form carbon dioxide and water and then to actually you need oxygen to contract the muscle you also need oxygen to relax the muscle right. so when it gets so tight it chokes itself 
and that's where. So you just push blood through trying it. Trying to get blood into it. it. But again, okay. if you don't change the posture, then right. so a muscle is made up of actin and myosin. There are layers like a ladder. That's that, what that I want. I want the details. <laughs> <laughs> there's thing called troponin, and tropomyosin, and there's things that we don't need to talk about today. But <laughs> there's essentially ladders that that overlap on each other. Okay, mm -hmm. and when something contracts, it means that the layers are coming together more, and then when they stretch, they're separating. And then if they separate all the way, you tear the muscle, right? So you've then torn it. But the strength comes from the overlap. And when an area gets contracted for so long, the blood vessels that are supposed to go into that area get choked because of the tightness of the muscle. Mm. And that creates a positive feedback loop where it can't resolve itself. And this is where a lot of care is done in America where people are just trying to do trigger point therapy. And I go, so what people ask me, what do you think about trigger point therapy? And I go, okay, trigger point shouldn't exist. That's what I think about trigger point therapy. <laughs> they shouldn't exist. I want to get to the cause or the reason for why they're existing, not, I don't treat trigger points. I treat posture and then trigger points go away, mm. right? I, 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 we work on the area, resolve the injury, and then tr trigger points don't exist. There's a reason your body put these walls up and some of the reasons aren't bad. Like sometimes you'll have a muscle spasm in an area that's been injured repetitively and like that muscle spasm is actually kind of helping you, <laughs> right? But if it's in an area of, of, of what typically doesn't get injured, that's what concerns you more, like up here in the upper neck, the upper back. I use the traction as a way to unglue the vertebrae. So part of what's going on is everything's kind of like book, books on a bookcase. They're all, I can't move them. So I'm trying to open them up a little bit to free up them, their motion. Relax here, relax there, chin up. There we go, good, very nice. Interesting to see how that worked on the microphone. That was like really yeah. quiet. You understand? Deep though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You probably couldn't hear it. It actually moved. Mm -hmm. There was the same joint moving, but it moved again. That's why there was only a little bit of air in it. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Right. This is the gua sha. It's a way to help speed up blood flow. It's like a. They figured out you can just sweep your house, sweep yeah. your floors, but if you don't take your shoes off at the front door, it's kind of silly, right? Because you keep on tracking in more mud. So the goal is, yes, take your shoes off the front door, but also, you know, sweep up the mess that's in the house. And so those are the two ways that we treat people. There's no owner's manual that tells yeah. us how to take care of our body. So look at this trap here. You see these marks, Carl? These are just the, these are the roots that his work is you know, necessitating. And, and or the six car accidents. Uh, those, those, those made a difference. Batman. Batman. <laughs> here, wait, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, the left side of his back is elevated. It's going to be right lower back. Is it more on the right leg? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because the left middle part of his back is stiffer. Yes. It's more elevated. We call that subluxated is the word we use. But the tighter part won't hurt as much because it doesn't move. You're not chewing on it. So the tight part here will cause a mildly tight part here, which causes the most abused area be his right lower. All of this, like right there it is. I realized that he'll have me push on that spot and he's doing the same thing. Yeah. Good, okay, all right. So you, you, she's found it then, okay. Or you found it. But yeah, right there. You're gonna be able to do it yourself on that dental roll. And that's what I wanna, right. that if you, if you can keep this area moving, you're not gonna have lower back issues. Is that like old injury, you think? In normal biomechanics, when you bend to touch your toes, the middle back moves first. So when we have an injury, that's where the first injuries are, mm -hmm. because that's the one that showed up first in the first place. <laughs> right. So yes, the oldest injuries are in here, and then because they lock down, now the work has gone somewhere else. Yes, very good question. Would be we're going to get to a place where Ed, I educate. Is that all you got? <laughs> there we go. 
Take a break, take a break. Mm -hmm. Right there, yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. It's right over the Batman, right over the Batman wing. They found within 10 days of a joint not moving that there's crystals, plaque, sandpaper, forms in a joint that doesn't move. Huh. I didn't do anything yet. Correct. <laughs> the injury was, the area was injured and then it got, the joint surface got covered in sandpaper and now the two surfaces don't slide smoothly on each other. They're stuck. And <laughs> elbow grease. We gotta, we gotta work that. It's like scrubbing a tub. But it's like after you do it, it almost like moves a little bit more. Yes, sir. Yeah. Very good, yeah, it's just right there. I know, yeah, that's a pretty big one right there. Mm-hmm. I know that hurt. I, got, I had no movement. There was no movement up here. I mean, zero. It felt like I was out in the parking lot pushing on the concrete out there. It's like solid concrete. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Look at all this stuff over here. Oh my. Who put this here? A little treasure chest underneath here. <laughs> right there.
This is from when your body tells you to stop, and you don't stop, <laughs> and you keep going. <laughs> this is the gremlin that goes in here, right? You're working with 10 hour, eight hour, whatever shifts, and that last hour in the shift, you're like, stop, just go home, stop. <laughs> no, nope, got like, no. 10 more orders, 50 more orders to do, yeah. whatever. That's, that's, that's this. <laughs> There's a consequence to that action. It's these spasms in here. The body's like, oh, okay, fine, fine, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> so the mark really only comes out where there's something internal. Um, you can't make a mark wherever you want to make a mark. That's not how it works. <laughs> it has to be something inside that's congested, clogged, filled with lactic acid that then can be pushed, blood can be drawn into it, and then it rinses out. And so, you know, some parts of your back are just turning kind of a pinkish color, and then they have this dark redness where there's a lot of acidity that's trapped. This is one of those, like from what's it, uh, the Patriot? Lord, make me fast and accurate. Yeah, <laughs> this is a. Solid guy here, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> did you play football in high school? Would yeah, you? You football, did, didn't you? Basketball. Bat football too? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew you did. Uh, had to. Jeez. When we get clobbered by this guy, maybe we uh, ain't getting yeah. up. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, Gumby sucks at football. Uh, right? That's me. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Boing! <laughs> 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 we had a horrible team, but we sent someone to the hospital every single game. Oh, God. You mean you sent somebody to the hospital? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's trying to be nice. We were the worst team, but someone was on that team was going to the hospital. Oh. That job. There it is a little bit. You actually get that, he would need, we need to do like at least five sessions on that dental. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much fluid. Mm -hmm. you, it's a, 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 there's a principle in engines where it, we call it hydrolocking an engine, right? Water is not compressible, right? 
You have to squeeze the water out of the joint to then make the joint actually going to movable. It's so swollen that I'm just bouncing off a swollen joint. The swelling is from well, traumas and imposture. So, what the, the, the reality with that injury, with that mobility in there, it'd take like like third, fourth, fifth adjustment. I finally get it moving. Would be the that would be wow. if you were here in Sarasota. That's what I get that moving for you. But somebody's got to be zealous to to do the work day. But mainly, it can't be just the chiropractor. It's got to be also stretching at home. Mm. I need your help. Sounds like an Avenger ploy. <laughs> the Avengers need your help! Anyway, sorry. There we go. There we go. Okay. I got you relaxed. There we go. Good, okay. Break this one? Uh, broken on that you, toe. That feels weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Something feels weird about this toe. <laughs> What'd you do to that one? I don't know. Feel, that one. might have been one of those early morning, you yep. know, when your eyes are closed and you clobber the uh -huh. couch. Normal. <laughs> it's like all made of sponge. Yeah. Yeah, you busted this one, bud. All right. Well, now I know. Nice way the doctor would be. Oh, is it hurt? Okay. No, fix it. Gotta, somebody's got to teach, teach me what to do to get rid of that. And we need all the members of your team. I can't, unless under great reluctance, will I allow a member of your team to leave. No one's allowed to leave. Everyone's got to stay for the entire journey. <laughs> I broke that big toe in the car. Actually. Is that what he says? Wow, this one's, yeah, this is the, this is the ankle you busted? Yeah. Jeez, it's a solid. It's, a, well, it's swollen every single day. I don't get it. Take your sock off. Yeah, I don't, I don't like much of what I'm feeling. The acidity is what attracts the calcium. So pain in an area is lactic acid. Lactic acid is negatively charged. Calcium is positively charged. Opposites attract. So what makes the bone grow? The acidity. Do you understand? If you leave this acidity in your in your little toe, the, the joint's gonna grow. That makes sense? All right, yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, I see it. Never, I've never felt that. Probably a navicular, oh. I know, yeah, navicular talus injury in here. When was this, how old was this? Oh, teenage, yeah, this probably, teenage, right? Oh yeah, probably 13, 14. Tilt. Yeah. Okay. Tilt. <laughs> okay. It's not weird. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me have you uh, put your hand on your hip. Let me check your shoulder a little bit. Let's see if we can look up for you a little bit. And then you're gonna press back in your with your elbow. There we go. Solid. This guy is solid. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, nice guy. All right, let me have you, let me have you check your range of motion. Let's try it again. Go ahead and turn your head to the right. Okay, keep your shoulders, keep okay. your shoulders level this time. That's right. Turn your left. That's good. Did I go the wrong way? <laughs> better that way, yeah, yeah. Right. And then much better that way. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. it's that not on that left side, but very good. Go ahead and look up again. Let's try looking up. Here you go. Look at you. Good, good, good. Feels better. All right, have you come over here. If it's too much, you can. I don't mind making it a little easier. You understand? But I, yeah. time is more important than the depth of the stretch. Do you understand? So I don't mind if you make it easier. We've got to get 20 minutes in. 20 minutes a day like this? 20 minutes at least All right. in one spot. Uh, feet together, knees together. Rotate your knees left. There you go. Breathe, breathe. Good. Stretch. Come on, bud. Exhale. It's okay. I promise you're not going to hurt yourself. I promise. you gotta, you got to let these areas of tension go. Bring knees back up. About 5, 10 seconds, and then knees to the right. Exhale, stretch, exhale, exhale, relax, relax. Good. Yeah. Then knees back up. And then to stay in the middle for a second, stay here for about you know, 45 seconds to one minute, and then do it again. Kind of like a drawer. You're trying to yeah. push on both sides to get it to slide forward. The vertebrae have to go. Let me take the books out. Let me try it. Try one. Let's just go with one. We don't need to kill yourself. We don't need to kill you on the first time you get on Denerol, okay? 
That's different. It's it, this is this is a rest of your life thing. You understand? Right. We don't, the first time you get a toothbrush, ha ha hi ya! Like <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like spitting out blood. <laughs> right. Like we don't even do that the first time you brush. Like we're gonna hi do this. Ya. <laughs> How do you? You know, ah, I'm going crazy on my first brush. Like a sawzall in your mouth. <laughs> Like, take it easy. <laughs> this thing is not going anywhere. Right. You're going to be using this thing for like another 50 years, so we don't, the first couple times you do it, just start getting acquainted with it and getting yeah. used to. It's interesting. Yeah, this, these are. So, they, this side of your back should be like that. Well, like, it should be a joke. You should be laying on this and you don't feel anything. Oh, wow. This, they made a piece of foam that emulates my thumb or my elbow, oh, yeah. and it holds you in the curved position. This is the same curved position that you developed at about the first six months to one year of life. Every baby develops their lumbar and cervical curves. And when we lose them from 5 to 20, sitting 14 hours a day, and then going into work where we're continuing to be bent forward, and then no one cares, and we are, get to 30, 40, and need back surgery because of the alignment not being correct. Yep, I know it's tough. This is, it is tough. Between 15 and 20 minutes is where ligament creep, we call it, which is the lengthening of the ligaments, is starting to happen. And that's where posture change occurs. And then you come up and go, oh my gosh, I can actually move. And you don't have, you know, disc injuries. But you see, how, one thing you can do also, like say you've had a long day on your feet and you're having lower back issues and you want a little traction, keep these out a little bit more. Put your hands on top of your thighs. Keep kind of a little bit lower. There you go. Get the idea? Yeah, a little bit. Any traction. Oh, yeah. Feel that? Yeah. So we, we don't need to, you can get traction, does that make sense? Just by yeah. pushing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not for 10 minutes, just for 5, 10 seconds. Just give it a little traction to free cool. it up. Yeah. Get some cool. blood in there. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, and then just... It's definitely sore, though. But you, you can... You definitely feel it. That's all the traction that I want. I don't need you inverting. Yeah. I don't need you flexion distracting on a table. You can do it yourself. <laughs> With a dental, we're we're a little bit high here. You could go a little lower. Do you understand? I don't mind your range. You're probably up right here right now. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You could go a little lower. Your range on this guy is from the bottom of your shoulder blades. Okay. Does that make sense? I can now, go all the way down too. Well, like, not. You know, so here's there. here's so that the tapered part will contact the injured areas right. to prevent mobility where we're injured. Now you might not be here for another three months. You understand? Mm -hmm. What, the way we know whether or not you can do it there is if you go down, not today, right? but if you go down lower down there and you start feeling the discomfort you usually feel, mm. stop. move higher, stop. Even if you're up here and you start feeling something, you got to move higher or we got to elevate. Okay. Right? So it, it's only okay if it's uncomfortable where it's pressing in right. and where you feel it when you ring your knee side. It's like, yeah, it's freaking killing me right where you were digging your elbow into. Keep going, keep going. You have to, we have to work all that out of there. An 18 year old wouldn't need hours on the table. I could just throw them up right on stretches, right? An 18 year old, I just adjust them. Easy, easy. To get off, those hurt. Okay, to get off, you just roll your side. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, he's jumping I was done. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to get off, that's, what, that's why I'd rather you just keep the books. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm done. I was like, yeah, dude, that was breaking me down. <laughs> get off this thing! <laughs> It'll get panicky. I can't that was, see it. That was an objection. It. You had. It was like I was being impaled by the thing. Okay. No, I was like, I've never seen anyone get off the table. I told you. I told him to make it easy. Oh, he <laughs> did. He gave me the option. I gave told me the you. Out. He gave me the out. You were playing it cool. You were like, I kind of. I was. I was trying to breathe it out. Couldn't <laughs> stretch through it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I didn't want. I'm like, I told her, I'm like, I don't want to throw up. If it hurts too bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway. So okay, put, show me how to get up. I'll get up. Right. Okay, you're gonna put. <laughs> 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 well, and he's off. Okay. <laughs> Probably scared her. Camera all shook. <laughs> <laughs> her name is gonna look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's done Sorry, now. <laughs> It's okay. Sorry about that. Oh, that was so funny. Okay. Right, okay. So, yeah, you just, my point is, make it easy. Make it a joke. Yeah, right. You're saying, make it so it's not overwhelming you. I was trying to tell you earlier, not to kill yourself. <laughs> He's like, Don't sit up like The Undertaker. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was the kind of person coming back to work. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Nobody me that's all, folks. <laughs> that's so funny. All right. So, so yeah, you just, the ideal is be careful. If you, it's not as you only have about five minutes, but after 20 minutes, you need to get off by rolling to your side. 
You understand? And then take your hand, push it out of the way, go back on your back. Go ahead. Just let your head sink back. There you go. Yeah. Just this is the neck down roll, the same kind of principle. You need more time with me to even for him to take one of these home yet. You're not ready, but I just wanted to give you a preview. There are other guys like me that at least know about dental rolls. They're called chiropractic biophysics and idealspine.com. And if you were gonna, you know, maybe in Orlando or my brother Max is in a Claremont. I'm just saying, you know, you could there are other Oh yeah. Brother, he's just graduated, he can, you know, continue your work, but he has a regular practice, uh, Claremont area. But my point is that you'd be able to not that I'm ditching you as a patient. You're always no. welcome to come back in. Huh? No, we love the trip out He's here. abandoned me. <laughs> yeah. Imagine in your seat, you have to get the idea. And just oh, yeah. intermittently practice throughout your life. I'm, I'm trying to teach a lifestyle here. You understand? It's not just like 20 minutes a day. It's like like as much as you can. It's 20 minutes minimum, but sometimes you brush teeth a couple times a day. I wouldn't do this right when you wake up because everything's swollen. So if the best, the ideal time is right before you go to bed, about a half hour, hour for bed. You get on dinner roll. But you can, middle of the day, I think of it like your stomach. You wouldn't wake up in the morning and not feed yourself until 10 p.m. and then you go, my stomach was killing me. Right. Why was that? Did you feed yourself? Like, you know, your spine has to be fed a little bit, and we just aren't taught that. And so by the end of the day, many people are, I'm in a lot of pain. It's like, well, give yourself a snack. You know, you can middle the day. Maybe, maybe it's not 20 minutes. Maybe if you have the ability before you go to work at noon or whatever, you, you lay on the dinner roll for five minutes. Just give it, remind your middle back to be mobile um, and don't you know, have a conversation I'm trying to say with the middle back. They're like employees. You got to check and make sure that they're working. All right, my friend. Yeah. Very good. Hey. I appreciate How's it. How's it feeling? How's it feeling? You okay? I feel good. Yeah, right. I feel good. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. All right. Excellent. Yeah.